Hi, I'm Mike Wilber. Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. Today we're going to teach you how to successfully position an aerial device, both rear-mounted and mid-mounted aerial devices, on a building by getting the apparatus centered in the building by using the axles or some other geometry uh, on the scene to get the apparatus centered. And here we're going to start with our first truck pulling in. As the apparatus pulls in, the operator is going to start his size up uh, on the building. He's going to look at side D. He's looking for any smoke, fire, any people that might be in trap. He's going to pull up. He's looking in the mirror right now at the tandems and the turntable, and he's going to align them with the steps over on the A side of the building. As the operator gets out, the operator is then going to check uh, the AB corner, the B side of the building, again for fire, smoke, or any people that may be entrapped. Seeing that nobody's entrapped and wanting the apparatus in the center of the building, we're now going to set the apparatus up for maximum scrub area. Understanding that fire conditions, the location of civilians that are entrapped, smoke exposures are all going to dictate as to where and how the apparatus is going to be positioned. But to get a center position uh, on the building like this, the turntable needs to be uh, in line uh, with the center of the building. And the best way to achieve that is by looking in the right side mirror and aligning uh, the tandems just past that object. And as you can see uh, from this shot, the apparatus is going to be perfectly centered in the building. For this positioning exercise, we're going to use a mid-mounted tower ladder. Uh, as it relates to the first exercise using a rear-mounted aerial, uh, this is going to be vastly different. In the aerial exercise, you remember that we use the tandem axle uh, to judge in relationship to the front uh, step here as to where the, the uh, apparatus needed to be positioned in order to cover the front of the building and be centered. In the case of the mid-mounted tower, uh, obviously, the turntable is not by the tandem axle, but it's actually between the tandem axle and the front axle. And so the operator is going to uh, look in his mirror, and the uh, big uh, outrigger arm that's alongside the truck, right, uh, right by the uh, turntable, is going to be the, the, the point where he is going to try to center that uh, on the stairs behind me uh, in order to get centered uh, on the building. As the apparatus approaches, the apparatus operator is going to start his building size up, uh, starting with side D. The operator is looking for smoke, fire, any potential victims that are entrapped in the building. He's going to be now looking in his mirror, trying to uh, take the outrigger arm and put it right up by the steps to get centered in line with the building. As you can see, the outrigger arm is uh, directly in line with the turntable, and that's what we're after. He pulls up, kicking the cab out of the way, leaving enough room for the uh, outriggers and the jacks to go down. The operator is then going to come out of the apparatus. He's going to come around, and he's going to look at the B-side. And he's looking at the B-side again to complete his size up, to look for any smoke, any fire, or any um, potential victims trapped. Obviously, if there were victims trapped, he would have to pull the apparatus up. Uh, there are no victims trapped, and so we want to leave the apparatus uh, centered on the building. And now we're going to get ready to operate. As you've seen in the last two evolutions, mirror driving is very difficult. However, it's not impossible. Unlike coming from the other direction, as the apparatus approaches with the driver's side on the building side, it becomes much more easy to position. The apparatus operator no longer has to mirror drive and use the mirrors. The apparatus operator can now position by sticking his head out the window and then aligning uh, the turntable with the center of the building by just 
giving it a visual out the window. Much easier. Unfortunately, in the fire service, uh, we don't have every building on the driver's side of the apparatus, and so you need to learn to do both. As you can see from the previous two scenarios, it is of vital importance to conduct a complete size up of the building, but also to get the apparatus positioned properly. Hopefully with this newfound information, it will make your operations easier on the fire ground. For Fire Engineering Training Minutes, this is Mike Wilbur.